Hi everyone. I have a couple things to open. Um, so I'm just going to open them. They're pretty much all Smart Doll related. Not all Smart Doll brand, but all Smart Doll related. Um, so we'll just start with this, which I purchased from another Smart Doll owner. Um, I believe it is a Chaos Head. What I mean to say is, I think that's what's in this box. I did purchase a head from somebody, um, and I want to say that they described it as a chaos head, or that's what it looked like to me, um, because I don't believe this particular style head has been released yet. And I'm just trying to figure out how to open up the box. <laughs> uh, why is this so difficult for me? from Canada. Are Canadians smarter than me? <laughs> Probably. At least a few of them. Probably most of them. Um, I undid all the tape. There's got to be an opening somewhere. Um, okay, I feel like it's wiggling. This is not a very good video so far. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I feel like I'm just gonna have to cut the box. Oh, wait, wait, here. One last side. The label part, I didn't try to cut that. There we go, there's a lid opening right there. Okay, so if this is Head, which I think it is. Obviously, it's Smart Doll brand. Um, I think it was from probably one or two drops ago when they had painted heads come up. Yep, it's a Smart Doll head. I'm sorry if the lighting is not the best. It's like two in the morning and I just have one light on. I can't wait to sleep. I'm awake because that's what I do. I'm a midnight person. So, cinnamon head. It should be pear. And it's a uh, cyber. So that's kind of cool. Right? So I believe that is live and let live. Um, in pear with cyber markings. I imagine that pear girls will eventually come with... Uh, cyber markings because I've seen the pair bodies on various smart doll tweets, X's, whatever, um, with the cyber markings on the pair body. Um, and I think I've seen a few pair girls, um, with the markings, but this was a chaos one. I think it's really cute. So I purchased it off of, um, Chloe. Thank you, Chloe. It arrived safe and sound. Um, and I was going to put it on the one and only Pyridol body that I have. This is Mackenzie's body, um, headless at the moment. Um, but I realized I did not bring a head cap, so I'll have to pause this and go grab a head cap. One moment. Okay, head cap secured. So, <laughs> um, I picked out just a couple of things that I had handy. Some eyes on a putty, on a stick, and a wig. This is not necessarily like anything I envisioned for her. I didn't really envision anything because this was kind of like a um, just spur of the moment kind of um, purchase um, from another smart doll owner. Um, so I didn't really Actually, it's funny, I was actually just messaging somebody about I'll live and let live. Um, you know, I realize I really don't need another one because I have one. That's the trouble. Like, somebody posted on one of the groups, you know, how do you like the classic smart doll characters being reimagined into pair, or do you prefer pair original characters? And I commented. That I prefer pair original characters mostly because I already have so many of, of the um, 
classic smart dolls and all the characters, or at least I have all the ones that I want. And so I try to avoid duplicates. Therefore, with the pair girls, I'm interested in the uh, new characters or face ups or whatever you want to say um, for pair that haven't been previously released. Okay, so these are these are a little bit too big. Um, that's gonna have to do. I don't know. You can see there it kind of has a little bit of glitter. It's like blue with like a pinkish yellowish it looks kind of like a natural eye but it's too big just slightly too big because you can't really see any white to her eye with this that's okay I don't I don't have any other real um, I, I suppose I do have some semi-real smart doll eyes are brown and I didn't want brown. That would fit for semi-real is like I guess I'm saying but I'll probably um, choose to find some different eyes for her. And I don't know how most of you feel about like semi-real versus anime style eyes. Oh my gosh, this is not looking good. <laughs> I got the putty way up in her eye crevice there. Alright, I'm going to pause this while I struggle to put this on. Okay, unpaused. Here we go. I don't know. Those are too big, but they kind of actually look a little interesting with the cyber markings because it looks almost robotic. Sort of. Her eyes. So, there she is, and like I said, I just grabbed a wig that I had handy, so this isn't necessarily like what I envision her in. I probably may not even like it. This is actually a wig I had on many a different doll, but I do love it. I like the purple color. Let me just give a quick little brush here. Hasn't been very well cared for lately. Okay, well, it has like this little braid that I did in it just to sweep the wig, the bangs back. All right, let's see how this looks on her, just to give her a look. This wig is probably just slightly too big for smart dolls. Which is why I probably had to sweep the bangs back, but at least I get to see what she looks like with eyes and wig. Pretty cool, I think. I think she's a cool looking doll. It's, <laughs> I don't think this is going to be her final look, but let's just pop her on and see what she looks like as a full doll. Whoopsie. If I don't knock this body over. Alright. Oh my gosh, the braid is like going so loose now. It's kind of falling apart. But that's okay. There she is. Looks pretty cool, huh? She looks kind of neat. I do like the cyber markings. I hope that there will be cyber pair girls eventually. They're so neat. I, I don't know why I just love the markings. They're so, I don't know. I guess it's like tattoos kind of. Like I'm not really necessarily all about like the futuristic cyber look, but I just like that it gives them a different feature to look at. Um, the other two things are clothes. So I'm gonna get the smart doll one first. I feel like almost everybody has gotten this. <laughs> Set of clothes. It was a recent drop. But I'm definitely spoiling the heck out of here. The hair side of my smart dolls. Even though I really only have one pair body. I do only have, well, I still have that pair build. Cinnamon. It's full body. And I got 
in here, some high heels, so I have feet for it, um, to go on to the Evolve frame. I don't have an Evolve frame for it though, so it's just parts laying there. And then I just put my garbage away real quick. Lucky for me, today is garbage day, so I can put this right in the recycle. All right, so as I said, here is the pair involve feet. Um, I'm not gonna try them on her. I imagine it's not really that hard to pop them off and pop them back on. Um, but there you go, high heel feet. Um, the other things that I purchased were that I forget what it's called, but it's like the tiger hoodie, but it's in purple. As you can tell, I really like purple. Purple's my favorite color. Got purple hair, purple <laughs> sweater, um, purple sweater. Um, it's super cute. I really actually loved the orange one, and I think of it less as a tiger and more as like a little bear, even though the sleeves have like the tiger stripes there. I don't know. I just think of it as more of like a bear. Um, and then I also got a pair of, does it say? A pair of pair jeans. But I think this is the third type. So like they have the three different types of like jean styles. There's the Tokyo, the Hiroshima, and one other, I want to say. I hope I didn't buy a duplicate pair of jeans because Oh no, I don't think there is, wait, there, I don't remember, because there's, there's a solid pair, but it ha you can see these have very flared legs. Um, there's a pair that is black with like kind of like stitching. I'd have to look at my order form, but I feel like this was a new, new style of jeans that was released for pair. So I think I have all the ones that have been released so far. Again, even though I only have one pair girl, I'm spoiling the heck out of her. Eventually, I'll probably get another pair girl. I will. Someday. As I was saying, kind of back to, like, the, um, discussion of, you know, do you like the classic girls getting the pair treatment, the characters, or would you prefer new characters? And for me, it's new characters. So, I guess that's kind of what I'm holding out for with um, the pair girls like that I would like to purchase in either tea or cocoa. I really wonder if we'll see any pair girls in the fantasy colors like the gray or the blue. Obviously blue is long gone, um, but maybe in uh, gray. Have we seen a gray pear girl at all? There was that gray boy like prototype body that got sent out. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> this is a lovely patriotic dress from Jody's Creation for pear. And I'm super excited because I've been buying up a few like holiday themed clothes lately so I have a couple girls dressed in like rainbow stuff for pride month which I cannot find my little smart doll um stay proud t-shirt I know I have it I know I have it can't find it but I have a couple girls dressed in all like rainbow colors and then I have one girl that's dressed in like a patriotic thing and I got another patriotic thing and so I wanted to get something patriotic for pair so Instead of trying on the smart doll clothes, which I'm sure many of people have already put on their pair girls, I'm going to try this on her um, and see how it looks. So this previous outfit was um, something I'm sure, I, I don't know if I did a video opening for it, but isn't it cute? Look at her little legs. They're like bell bottom, like butterfly, colorful butterfly things. If I didn't do a video for it, I'll put a link for this. It's from um, 
one of the Etsy artists that I shop with like all the time. Um, and I don't know why I can't think of their name. But this this patriotic dress is from um, Jody Creations. There's their business card. They have a nice little thank you note on the back. Um, cute little pair of actually patriotic underwear. Look at that. It's all red, white, and blue. That's really adorable actually. And then this dress is super, super cute. It's just like a halter style dress, but it has this really nice print, just red and blue and black stars on a white field. This is very cute. I like it. And then um, a goodie bag of stickers, which I love me my stickers. I go on my sticker book. So uh, this girl is totally just not getting a look that I uh, thought or planned out at all. Um, so we're just going to try this outfit on her because I think it's super cute and I can't wait to have Mackenzie back on her own body to uh, celebrate 4th of July with me and my family. Alright, don't mind her. Hopefully her wig will cover up her <laughs> behind. If I didn't do a video for this outfit, I will link to it in this video so that you guys can go and check for it. You you will know the shopper once I link, or the shopper, the um, artist once I link for it. And I really don't know why I can't think of the artist because I shop with them all the time. I can picture their Facebook posts. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna... Um, Gosh, I might just have to like decapitate her. No, I won't have to. I just have to take this off. Okay, there we go. And this dress, uh, the halter has a snap closure, and it actually is on a little bit of stretchy ribbon there. And then the back also has a snap opening, so it looks like you can just slip it down on over there is a little bit of a um, like I guess you could say petticoat or something there on the inside there we go just make sure the strap goes over her head oh yes this is so cute all right I'm just kind of straightening out the ribbon there and I'll snap up this closure. Maybe, I think. All right, so the great thing about this dress is that there is still a way to get to the um, port stand if needed, right there. That's really great. Um, the little petticoat on the inside gives it just a little bit of fluff, which is really nice. And I have her, this is the um, medium bust for a pair, so it fits really nicely there. Looks really good. And I'm just going to pop her hands back on so we can see what she looks like. Oh, I suppose I should put those cute little underwear on too. Let's do that just so she can have the full patriotic look. I suppose I could have put that on first so that she wouldn't have to flash everybody. I'm going to have to think of a name for this girl too. Because I don't, I was, she was, she came from Europe too. I don't remember where. I'm sure the box would say, but I already tossed it in the recycle bin. Alright, there's her cute little patriotic underwear. Super, super cute. Okay. I really cannot wait to get a picture of all of the girls that I have kind of in patriotic looks right now. So, super cute. Looks really good on the pear body. It comes right nicely to the um, back line, so it looks really good there. Nice profile side. Alright, let me put these, this purple wig back on, which again, I don't really think fits her. I don't even think those blue eyes fit her very well either, but it's 
that's what we have at the moment. Alright, let's see if I can kind of balance this back out. I do like this wig. I wish I could just find the right person for it. Alright, there you go. What do you guys think? Um, so, Jody Creations for this lovely patriotic dress. She's gonna stay. There we go. Um, and then Smart Doll for this lovely <laughs> chaos head, pair head of Live and Let Live with Cyber Markings. They are definitely brown or black, which were on the cinnamon um, classic bodies. Um, and then I think he's they're transitioning to purple on the cinnamon and getting away from the black, so maybe that's why that ended up in chaos. I don't know. And then Smart Doll for the purple tiger, the new pair of jeans. I'll, I'll link to these, whatever they are. And then the heel feet. I am guessing that we'll see many more runs of heel feet for um, pair because I don't think pair is going away and I think they're going to keep offering more and more uh, different types of body parts, body styles for pair um, and go from there. So Thank you guys for watching this late night video. Um, I'm kind of tired, but I'm usually up at this time, so eh, we'll see. I might go to bed, I might stay up. Just admiring her, maybe we'll watch some TV together. I don't know. <laughs> All right, have a good night, everybody. Um, please feel free to comment or message if you have any questions or, you know, just your thoughts. I always enjoy reading them. Thanks, bye.